Hi guys! What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Obviously, from my title, you can tell that I have things to show y'all. Because I have a bad habit of keeping things in the bags when I purchase them for like two weeks, sometimes even more, until I'm ready to use them. I don't know why I do that, but I do that. Anyways, so, oh, also, you're gonna see this pimple patch on my chin, ignore it. Um, I'm trying to get rid of a pimple. So moving on, let me move this camera like this. Do you like how my hair came out? Today I'm just gonna share with you guys the things that I have purchased lately. Uh, it's quite a bit of things, so I'm gonna try to go through this fast. I don't know why I do this. I always like just leave shit around and accumulate it. But you know what, that makes for a good video because now I can show you guys everything that I got. Let's start with H&M, the stuff that I, the clothing that I bought. I got four pieces. It's still hot as hell out here in LA. So it's not really fall. I mean, it's fall, but it's not fall for us. But I still bought some fall things. So I got this skirt, which I tried to, I've already worn it. This is actually dirty. I just took it to show you guys. Well, it's not dirty, but I mean, I wore it, so. I just uh, pulled it out to show you guys. I've worn two of the things already because it was like a little cooler for like a few days right at the beginning of fall. Stripes are, are apparently in this um, fall, which I feel like they're in every fall. So I don't know what people are talking about, but I got this knitted maxi skirt and um, I've already worn it once. I thought I could wear it as a dress too but that's not happening it's kind of it's weird because it's kind of it's a little too loose up here it fits around my booty so nice but it's weird it's too big up here to fit around my upper part of my body so what's next what else did i get i got this collared shirt i got it in an extra small so it fits nice and tight i love that more stripes but i love the color that's why I got it because this one, I think this is like a periwinkle blue. I've gotten my nails this color before and I really liked it. So I love collared shirts. I have a lot of collared shirts. So I got that, which I've already worn to. Then, oh my God, this shirt right here, this shirt at H&M, it's obviously a basic, but this shirt, oh, it's stretchy. It's like really stretchy, right? And I got it in an extra small fit, so it fits like really tight. But, oh my God. But it fits so tight and nice and just snatch your waist right in, baby. And I wanted to get it in a bunch of different colors, but I think they only had it in white and a nude color. And the nude color, I wasn't really feeling it because certain nude colors against my skin tone, my undertone can really wash me out. Also, if you guys see two dots here, I got bit by a mosquito. So y'all have to run and get this. The quality is so good. It's a nice thick shirt. This reminds me of like Skims quality shirt. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's really tight. It's stretchy and well, it depends on what size you get obviously, but I got an extra small so it fits really tight. And then, um, yeah, it's just a really good basic. What's next? Oh, and the last thing. Oh, this was on my Pinterest board. Kind of. Really, I wanted it to be like an oversized look, but I got a, a tighter one. But the off the shoulders is another thing that seems to be in this fall too, oh, which I love because I have another over. I mean, uh, I have another off the shoulder shirt that I really like. But look how cute! Let me move this back. Look. Ah. This is really cute. Wear this with some slacks. It fits tight. I, what size is this that I get? And I got it, it oh, I got an extra small too. Okay, but yeah, look. Eee! Wear it with some, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with slacks, a skirt. And they had multiple colors in this too. I don't remember what other colors they were, but. Oh, they had like a cream color. And then they also had like, I think a green and a black color too. But I like this one. Cute. Okay, and then that's it for H&M. Now, the next thing, let me just do this thing. I never go into anthropology because, honey, it's expensive and 
I just, I ain't got the money for that. But I went in this time and I got this candle, but it was in the sales section. I went through the sales section, obviously. Uh, they have a lot of cute stuff. Anthropology has so many cute things, but look, it's Valus, Valuspa Magnolia Grape Scent. And oh my God, it smells, it smells like, I don't smell grapefruit, but it smells like a, like a fresh scent. Like it smells like you just came out the shower smells like a type of shower gel, but it smells, oh my God, it smells so good. And this is heavy. Like, look up, you hear that? You hear that? I love this candle because not only does it smell good, but once it's done, I can use this pretty jar. And I got it on sale for, okay, it says it's $24.95. It was originally $34 but it was 40% off of 24.95 so really it came out to like 15 bucks maybe yeah i think it was like 15 dollars um but it smells so good oh my god and i really it says magnolia ripe grapefruit and lotus flower i could see lotus flower it is a little flowery but not like you know like i don't know some people like the smell of rose I'm not like really a like a flowery kind of scented candle person, but this smells mad good. But yeah, that's the only thing I got from Anthropology, so I can't wait to use this. Now, uh, what else? Oh, that same day I went to Sephora and I just re-upped on my Laneige. Can we focus? Okay, I re-upped on my Laneige water bank. I get the I get the cream one in the winter and the gel one in the summer. I like this moisturizer a lot. So I had to re-up on that. Um, which by the way, I actually been using my friend gave me a bunch of samples um from what's that brand? Is clinical or IS clinical. I don't know how to how it's pronounced but she gave me a bunch of samples from that and they had what is it though it their moisturizer it's emulsion something and i tried the sample of it just the other day after i purchased this and i was like oh, i like that moisturizer a lot actually and i feel like it's a little it's a lot more hygiene but that moisturizer smells like a it smells like a nivea or like a cheap ass lotion and I thought it was going to make me break out, but it didn't. <laughs> it actually made my skin look really nice when I was using it. So, uh, and then, you know, I had to get some free samples. Actually, they weren't free. I had to sign up for a credit card, which they obviously denied me for. <laughs> but anyways, I did it just to get the little samples that they be giving out. So it came with a Dolce & Gabbana. Perfume, a Olaplex moisture mask. Oh my God, I didn't know I had this in here. I had to use this. Uh, oh, a pretty, oh, hold on. Let me see. Cause they gave me a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go do this. The Olaplex uh, moisture mask. Dolce & Gabbana perfume. Oh my God, let me spray this. I wanna see what this smells like. Mm. Oh, wait, what's the scent? Devotion, candy, citrus, orange blossom, and vanilla. Mmm. Oh, this smells good. Oh, I want to get this. So they gave me that sample. Then it came with uh, Sol, De Sol Janeiro. What is this? Beja Florid body wash. Um, I didn't even know they made body washes. But then a shot. This is the one that I was really excited about seeing. Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, look how pretty. Let's put it in my purse. Charlotte Tilbury. What's this scent? What's this one called? Pillow Talk. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's a pretty. That low key look like what's on my lips right now. But look how cute. It's so pretty. This color is pretty. Oh, oh, here I go. Here I go. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my purse. 
And then what else did it come with? Ooh, Dr. Dennis Gross. Triple correction eye serum. Retinol. For, I don't know. I'm scared about putting things in my eyes. And then Moroccan oil shower gel and body lotion. I like Moroccan oil. I have some stuff from them. So that's cool. I'm going to use that stuff. I'm going to put all this shit in here and get it out the way. All right, what's next? Oh, and then I had to re-up on shampoo and conditioner. So my friend actually told me about, she went with me to Marshall's the other day and we saw like the really big ones, but they didn't have, there was like either they had the shampoo of the one that I want or they had the conditioner in a large form of the one that I want, but no shampoo to match it. But anyway, she told me about uh, these, this brand, Joico. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, Joyco. But I got the Defy Damage Protective Shampoo. I'm gonna try that one out. And then I got Moisture Recovery because my ends are dry as hell. Um, so I got the Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm for thick, coarse, dry hair. Girl, my shit dry. But I was using um, the one that my hairdresser told me that he, you know, he sold me, um, what is it? Amika. Amika brand. I love how the Amika stuff smells. My friend told me that um, this brand, though, is supposed to be, I guess, a... Uh, this shampoo smells good. This shit don't smell like nothing. But my friend told me this is like salon quality stuff. So let's see if that works good on my hair. I got the small bottles, though, because I just wanted to try it out first and see if I like it. And if I do like it, then I know that it's there and I'll just end up getting the big ones. So let's put this to the side now what's next oh also from marshall's i got uh these earrings i've been seeing them on tiktok everybody's been talking about the the hearts house of i well i don't know about everybody but the girls that i've seen on my for you page i actually have these on right now i have the small little huggy ones on see look at you my ear holes are kind of big so they're gonna hang a little low um i heard they were really good burn they're 14 karat gold plated lead safe nickel free and this was twenty dollars for three of them three different sizes they're by house of harlow i love house of harlow oh my god that's what i i gotta show you the shirt that i got from from marshall sue when i got these actually no i got these a different day but um so i got these i heard they wear really well they they um they last really long like you know with fake jewelry they don't last very long, especially if you're like constantly wearing them. But I heard really good things about these. And then this is also House of Harlow too. Uh, and these, I lent my niece a pair, not these particular ones, a pair that look like these. And she lost one. So I got another pair from House of Harlow. These are more like huggy type earrings, you know, they go all the way to the back like that. And then these kind of cut off in the back like that. But they feel like really good quality earrings. And then this pair was $15, $14.99. You guys, wait, oh my God, I can't show my address. So you guys, this one I'm happy about. This one I'm excited about actually. Let me open this, I can show you. Guys, I got sucked into TikTok show. So, Goo Nanda. The coconut and mint pulling oil. I don't know if anyone else has seen this. I've been seeing it on my For You page like crazy. And I was like, hell yeah, I wanna try that because who the hell doesn't want healthy ass teeth, healthy ass gums, and your teeth to be white? Because this is for good oral care. Pure and natural says, I've been seeing nothing but good things about this. The ingredients are 100% pure fractionated coconut oil and peppermint essential oil. Literally, that's it. That is it. That's what the ingredients are. And I heard you're supposed to swoosh this around in your mouth for, what does it say? I think it says starts off at two minutes. Yep. Starts off uh, at two minutes and then try to work your way up to 10 minutes every time you use it. And you spit it out and rinse your mouth thoroughly with water don't swallow always brush your teeth after using oil pool okay so yeah 
It says it's cruelty free, synthetic free, vegan, no fragrances or dyes, no SLS. But I'm excited to use this because I was looking at the comments on TikTok videos. I went through so many TikTok videos and every single person that spoke about this had literally nothing but good things to say. Everyone was like, I, I noticed that the only comments that were bad was if it was a dentist, which is funny. But um, every single person who has used this says that it works so well if you had like a cavity or if you had like something wrong with your gums or a toothache or whatever it is, they have used this and whatever it was left, it was gone. It did not bother them anymore. And their teeth got whiter and the dentist would be like, how the hell did that happen? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, okay, so it's a pretty good, it's a pretty big bottle. Uh, I'm gonna use it in the morning time after I, I mean, before I brush my teeth every day. Shake well before you. So it looks like this. This is an eight ounce bottle and it comes with a tongue scraper and it comes with a toothbrush, which a girl in the comments said that this toothbrush works really good. And then it has toothpicks to get anything out of you between your teeth. All right, and that was how much? I think it was like 15 or 16 and then I had like a 15 50% coupon so it came out to like 750 well I'll let you guys know I'll keep you updated on how it works actually I'll make videos actually I think I'm gonna start making TikTok videos too <laughs> just in case y'all want to see me on there I've been had TikTok but I just go on there to watch videos but people have been telling me, why don't you make TikTok videos? And I'm like, eh, bitch. Okay, I think I am. What is next? Um, okay. Oh, and then I have stuff from Home Goods and Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna do Hobby Lobby first, and then I'm gonna do my Home Goods. Or it doesn't even matter. Does it look like I have? No, yeah, because I have more Hobby Lobby stuff. Oh no, I have more Home Goods stuff. But let me show y'all what I got from Hobby Lobby because I'm more excited about this. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. But okay, so I tried to get these flowers for this. I got. I tried to get flowers for this table recently, but they were faux flowers. They were fake flowers, and I just I kept them in the vase to see what they look like for a few days, and I just wasn't feeling it. I'm a real flower girl. It was just bothering me that they. I maybe it was because I knew they were fake, but everyone else seemed to like them, but I didn't like them. So I was like, I'm taking that shit back. So I had like a 40 something dollar credit there. And then, you know, I don't, I didn't buy anything fall related only because I love fall as much as I love, I like fall fashion, let's just say that. But as much as I love fall, I don't like to decorate my house for fall. Like no joke, I got, I dead ass have like one. Yeah, I just have, I really just have one candle. I have one candle sitting on my coffee table that looks like a pumpkin that I got from Target last year, but it smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. That's the only reason why I have it. But I don't even like to decorate for fall in my house. I'm more of a Christmas girl, if y'all don't know that yet. But I love Christmas. So guess what I did when I went back to Hobby Lobby? I bought Christmas stuff. Ah! I bought ornaments. Oh, and I wanna show you guys the ornaments. Let me take them all out first, and then I can show you guys because it's gonna take a long ass time, me un undoing all of these. So let's do the first. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's look at them. <gasps> oh my God, you know who that is? You know who this is? You know why I got this one? You know why I got this one? Because it looks like my cat. It looks like my cat. It looks like my cat. Who's sleeping right there? <sighs> my camera just stopped recording when I was trying to show you Clyde Ski. But look, that's what was, ooh, where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. And he's right there. So yes, he looks like Clyde. And then I got this for Dana because he loves to fix shit, so. Here you go. Nah, he liked these. I showed him all the ones that were like for him. He said he loved them. That was cute, and then I got him donuts. I got him donuts, but I also like these because they were so cute. Um, he loves donuts, so I had to get donuts. And then I got him, he loves to ride dirt bikes, so what? 
it's Dana. It's Dana on a dirt bike. Like, wheelie bitch. <laughs> what else? I love mushrooms. Dana was like, why'd you get a mushroom? And I was like, Psh, because I love mushrooms. But that's like, as of recently. I loved anything like mushroom. They look like a mushroom. Mushroom shaped. You know, I want this mushroom lamp that I've seen, but it's like mad expensive. But anyways, look at this mushroom. He's going in my tree this year. Yes, he is. Also, all the ornaments were like half off. If you've been to Hobby Lobby, you know damn well that around the holidays, everything is either 50 or 40% off. Honestly, I feel like there's always a 50 or 40% off thing. But can we talk about this ramen right now? With the chopsticks and the eggs. I don't know what kind of meat that is, but it's got green onions and noodles and all oh that. I love ramen. So like, who doesn't love ramen? So. Who else? Oh, oh my God. We love music, so. Also, I have a record player that my mom purchased for me last Christmas. But look how cute. Let me move out, let me move out the frame so y'all can see. I've never been to Paris, but I just thought this was really pretty. I like the color. It's like a pink color. Yeah, it's like a baby pink color. Oh, I love elephants. Oh, look, I got an elephant. You guys think I'm crazy, but I don't give a fuck. I love, love, love Christmas. And I always wanted to get like sentimental ornaments. So this is like me beginning our collection of sentimental ornaments. And then what else? I think this is the last one. Yep, I took them all out. And this one, I just, look at him. He's a hermit crab. But look at the color. That's gonna look so pretty in the tree. I got it because I like the color, not because I'm obsessed with hermit crabs, but I thought it was cute too. And then, honestly, I don't know what the theme is for my Christmas tree this year, um, but, oh shit, and then there's one other thing that I got from like Ross. I seen him and I was like, I have to get him. But look, this is what, this is the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby. And I wanna get more of these. They didn't have more, they didn't have any more. This was the last one and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab them even if I don't put a bunch of them in the tree. But disco ball ornaments, can we just like, look how sick that is. So that's definitely going in the tree. And then let me show you the last Christmas related thing that I got from Ross. <sighs> Guess what? Look at him. Look, this was a bad paint job. I mean, whatever. The other ones, I've, there was like three of these. But look, he's a cookie jar. It's Santa the cookie jar and he's Puerto Rican because I said so. Because look at his skin color. Wait a minute, let me take this shit off. He's Puerto Rican Santa. ¿Qué tú dices? ¿Qué pasó? No me diga eso. That's what he's going to be saying. Deja esto. But let's hold on. Let me open him. Cookie jar, you see? I'm gonna use him. He's gonna be in my kitchen for Christmas. Oh my god. Oh, that didn't sound nice. But he's so cute. The other ones had bad paint job. But this one was a better paint job. And I was like, oh, he's Puerto Rican because he's like my skin color. So he's Puerto Rican Santa. So then that's it. That's it for Christmas, right? Right? Okay, hold on. Now the last thing, I'm in a rush. I have to go get my niece and nephew from school. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not gonna take all of these out. I'm... It was some cups and then candles that I got from Home Goods. So let me show you one of the candles first. And it smells so good. It, it low key smells like fabuloso. I'm not gonna lie. It smells like something that we use to clean. But the jar, look how pretty uh, with the tassel. And then look how this came. This is by Rachel Zoe. Hold up. And then, oh, it really smells like something to clean with. What's the scent supposed to be? It says it is cedar and balsam. So this is basically supposed to be, oh yeah, that is what it smells like. It smells like a Christmas tree. Ah. See, I'm sitting here going, it smells like something you clean with. But it smells like a Christmas tree. Cedar and balsam. This is obviously a Christmas candle. But it's so pretty. I had to get it because I'm going to use the jar when it's done. This one was $12.99. And then this one was by House of Carlo. God, I have to clean up this mess. And the same thing, look. 
And the jar was similar too, two different companies, but this one, I really, I saw this one first and I was like, oh my God, the color of the jar. And look, and it has like an evil eye right there. This one smells more, this one smells more like fall to me. What's the smell? Maybe I'm tripping. Red Jasper. I don't know what red Jasper is supposed to smell like, but I guess this is it. This one smells more fall related though, I feel like. But look how beautiful the jar is though. What? I'm gonna use this shit in my house too for decor. And this one got House of Harlow. She be making everything. Little Miss Nicole Richie. I also needed um, hand soap, which there's usually, I don't know what the brand is called. It's at Target. But I usually get the basil scented, this basil scented candle, I mean, hand soap from Target. And they haven't had it the last couple times that I went looking for it. So I got two different ones from Home Goods. I was sitting there smelling everything. And these two from Sand and Fog, that's the brand. Sand and Fog. One is Amber Fig and the other one was Clean Ways. Clean Ways, I'm going to tell you right now. You would think it'd be like something fresh scented, right? No, this smells like a, like a, oh my God, this, it doesn't, it, I mean, it smells, it smells like a freshly showered man who put on his cologne. That's the only way I can describe it. And it smells so good. It's made with aloe and paraben free, so it should be moisturizing. But, oh my God. And then this one, Amber and Fig, oh this smells this smells rich this smells good as hell they both smell bomb the last thing that i got i'm not gonna take them all out these reminded me of i got some cups but these reminded me of cups from like what was that place the other place that i got my candle from um anthropology these reminded me of like some anthropology cups look how pretty I love this color. Look how beautiful that is. There was like six of them on the shelf and I was like, well, that's coming home with me. I called Dana and he was like, hell yeah, those are nice. They're like this, I don't even know what color this is. It looks yellow, like a yellowish brown color. My dishes have been disappearing, I don't know. They've been breaking and disappearing. So I was like, I wanna get a whole new dish set and I was like "Ooh, this is a good start so my other dishes are just gonna be based off of this cup they were I think how much were they each I don't know I feel like they were like $2.99 each cup which wasn't bad because these are like really thick and nice I have to throw these in the dishwasher though they're dusty as fuck but how pretty these are so pretty, I love these. So I'm gonna go to another home goods and see if I find something that matches this. Okay, so that was it, that was it you guys. Oh, oh my God, one more thing, the shirt. <gasps> and then look, I got this shirt from House of Harlow. Look how pretty. I got an extra small so it fits really tight too. But I love this, look at the color. Oh, is this the same color as this at the bottom? Looks similar. This House of Harlow shirt, how much was it? $25, but it's really good. It's really good quality. And I thought it was really pretty. This is beautiful for fall, I feel like, and winter actually. This nice like sweater, it's knitted material. Okay, so yeah, now that's it. That's everything that I bought recently and now I can start putting everything away, maybe. Actually, no, all my Christmas shit is still gonna stay in the bags until it gets closer and I'm like, but thank you guys so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed everything that I got. Um, a lot of my stuff was from Marshall or Home Goods. And there's, I'll link the stuff that I got from H&M. I'll link as much as I possibly can down below. If I forget something, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, y'all, I'm done. I gotta go. Dana's calling me. Bye.